Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Lenovo ThinkPad T16 Gen 2. If you want to open this machine, you have to undo eight captive Phillips head screws. Then, pop the zones behind the hinges with a lever tool. After that, pry the sides and the front with a thin plastic tool. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The battery here is the base 52.5 watt hour variant. The optional version is an 86 watt hour model. Since the connector is built into the battery, you have to wear gloves while removing the unit to avoid short circuits. To take out the battery, undo the six Phillips head screws that fix it to the chassis. The capacity is enough for 20 hours of web browsing or nine hours and five minutes of video playback. That's a very good result. To achieve that, you have to apply the balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and set the Scheme for Battery to Balanced mode in the BIOS. The devices with discrete graphics solely rely on 16 or 32 gigabytes of soldered LPDDR5X, 4800 megahertz memory. The IGPU-only models have a SODIMM and can be found with two different RAM versions. The DDR4-based machines have 8 gigabytes of soldered RAM, while the iterations with the newer DDR5 memory boast 16 gigabytes of soldered memory. According to Lenovo, the DDR4 SODIMM supports up to 32 gigabytes of DDR4. 3200 megahertz memory modules, while the limit for the DDR5 SODIMM is 16 gigabytes of DDR5. 5200 megahertz RAM. However, since the CPUs can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. On the right of the SODIMM, you can see the W1 slot for optional 4G connectivity. For storage, you get just one M.2 slot for 2280 Gen 4 SSDs.